Hayley. We should be in by now instead of standing out here. I'm going to hand over the keys to Mr Connor as agreed. Hey, and Hayley, you've done a great job being boss, regardless of what everyone else says. <laughs> oh, what does everyone else say? Oh, Hayley, only good things. Although we do know somebody who's not saying anything, don't we, Janice? Oh. Don't start, Webster, cos I'm not in the mood. Oh, are you ever? <laughs> I'll just have to see what happens, won't I? Are you good at playing cards, Janice? Cos you should be shuffling yours round about now. Is this when you say somebody's on their bike? <laughs> <laughs> All right, just button it, the lots of you. Nice to see some things don't change, eh? I thought we should wait, Mr Connery. Yeah. Cheers, Ayla. Right, shall we? Mr. Connor. Right, if there's any papers it's not in, I'm ringing them to find out why not. Oh, the Gazette's done the most prominent feature, naturally. They're the only ones with it on the front page. Oh, excellent. I was hoping someone would print the picture in colour. Oh, yeah, but I, I think you'll find the contrast comes out better in black and white in, in some of these. Well, either way, it'll have to do. It's the only photograph I've got. Oh, now, don't you worry. Now you've enlisted the assistance of the great British public, that Casey woman won't know what's hit her. No, no, don't bother about paying. You, you, you get off home. I mean, your phone's probably ringing itself off the hook, even as we speak. Just when you think your whole life's about paying bills. I can't stop. I just wanted to ask if it's all right if Ryan stops in the back room while Mummy next couple of shifts. Why oh, did he not go to school? No, I, uh, I decided to keep him off. I just think, you know, with the funeral and all, and I think he's delayed the grieving process. Well, you never know, you know, being with his mates might be the best thing for him. I am his mother. And you know best, so sorry. So is it all right or what? Yeah, listen, if you just want some time off, you know. No, look, I want to get back to doing normal stuff as soon as I can. Well, that's kind of what I meant about Ryan, you know. Yeah, he's still a kid. Sorry. I'll see you at dinner then. Yeah. Thanks. Can anyone help us identify this woman? She's had it. There's even a free phone number for anyone that's seen her. And it's got to be clear enough for anyone that knows her. Hope they lock her up and lose the key. After what you said about her, though. What if she really isn't well? <laughs> she won't be well if I get my hands on her. Evil cow. No, they're gonna find her. Especially now with this. I'll just see if they've heard anything. They'll tell us if they know something. Just give it an hour, eh? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I mean, there's someone looking at this now going, I'm sure I know her. Has he shown you his samples, or have you not reached that stage yet? I told you I will not be wound up by your pure laddish banter on the subject of my sex life. Ah, uh, you said sex life. You could have said love life, but you didn't. Yeah, and you can pass that on to the other Neanderthal colleagues. They would understand that. Mm. Oh, look, one of which. Well, not understand what? Eileen has been giving me a gory, blow-by-blow -blow account of the ins and outs of what her and Pat got up to last night. Oh, we haven't have you? Not giving any details, gory or otherwise. Oh now, don't tell us nothing happened. I'm saying nothing, full stop. Huh. Apart from. Come on, come on. It was fantastic. Mm -hmm. It was a perfect gentleman, unlike some. And beyond that, you can both speculate as much as your tiny little minds will allow. Ah, mm, coming over all funny, aren't you? Where's Barry White when you need him? Mm, although we mustn't mock. Hmm? Really? And you were doing it so well. No, because you see, I think this is true love. All innocent and pure. Oh. Oh, as in, has he shown you his samples yet? Oh, is that you? Guilty. Oh, I hope you're ashamed. I am. You should bang your heads together. You can tell what he sees in her, can't you? Uh -huh. mm. oh. yeah. Hello, mm. street cars. It's making me miserable just looking at him. I just thought we'd have heard you say that. Of course, if you didn't keep stirring, you wouldn't know. Oh, a bit of compassion, though, Janice. Oh, hey, yo. Is that your new dictionary word for the day? Do you know, you should just go home and not bother. Yeah, I mean, it might as well. It's neither use nor ornament. I mean, look at the state of it. Anyway, you go and see to him, will you? Look, he's in a right mess. OK, well, I'll do my best, but I do think we need to be more understanding as a body. It's a stressful time all round. Mr. 
Connor. How are you doing? I even got to the phone messages yet. Actually, I, I wrote a few more down here. It's, uh, it's financial stuff mostly, stuff I couldn't deal You'll with. You stick them on there, will you? Um, urgent stuff I've put here. Hayley, I'll deal with it, all right? Sorry, I'll leave you to each other. Best plan. for the wicked, I'm telling you. If I'm not looking after that cab office... Oh, shut up, you love it. What, in charge of everything? Moi. All right, pal, how are you getting on? All right, thanks. Love, you go through to the back. I'll bring you some crisp and a drink. Uh, listen, um, before I put my foot in anything, which, as you know, I'm very good at. What is the situation with your Ryan regarding Paul? In what way? Well, you know, what, what does he know? You know about the circumstances with Paul and Leanne? He knows nothing. And it's staying that way as far as I'm concerned. I only asked. <sighs> Sorry. Look, if I seem a bit touchy... Who says you were touchy? I didn't say you were touchy. Where's Hayley? Uh, toilet, shall I go and get her? Who took this phone call from Wilson's? Only I'd ring them back if I could understand what it said. Well, the phone never stopped ringing while you are away. It was just like whoever's near it. Uh, I, uh, never touched it. <laughs> Everybody suggested I shouldn't bother and I agreed. At least you've got a brain. Janice? I know, no to about now, me. I'm just working, lot. Not a bad idea, considering, eh? Is this you? Uh, no, no, that's not my right, and I must have been out. Well, come on, somebody answered the flaming phone. Just pass it round and let us all have a look instead of shouting, eh? Have you got a minute? Yeah. Exactly harmony in the workplace, is it? Ah, well, let's hope Tillybug can calm him down. Where were you over dinner? In here. Wrestling with a million jobs and losing. Don't start hiding and using this place as an excuse, Liam. Are you all right with everything? I'm getting on with it, aren't I? That's not what I asked. I don't want to argue about it, I know that much. <sighs> Weird this, isn't it? Me worrying about you for a change. Shouldn't you be serving behind the bar? We're quiet. You can serve me then, can't you? Come on. I've had enough of it in here. You lot just carry on, eh? in the paper. It's me. Did your mum say what time she was coming round? Sometime this afternoon, she said. Hello? Yeah? Yeah, this is Claire. Have they got her? She just handed herself in. Right, so it's not like she's been arrested then? No, okay. What's going on? So what happens now? Right, but someone will ring us, won't they? As soon as they know what they're gonna do with her. All right. Thank you. Thank you, bye. Well, what's happened? They've got Casey. Yeah, I got that bit, but when just now? She just handed herself in. Well, how do you mean? Someone must report her or something. I mean, why do that? I don't know. Maybe because she's a lunatic. I don't know. She set fire to the house. She stole our baby. Who can say? 
But the, that police fella said then, when they finish questioning her and doing whatever it is they're going to do, then someone will get back to us. She just must have sort of pitched herself and thought that would it and just handed herself in. Either way, they've got her. So that means I can forget about keeping locking my doors and panicking every time I hear a noise in my own house. Yeah, you've had good reason to. Knowing some weirdo's been lurking around that could do it again any time. Yeah, I suppose. I know I've said some really bad things about her. But all I'm bothered about is us. It's over now. That's the main thing. We can start living like a proper family again. <laughs> He's not right. He shouldn't have come in. It's not like we don't know what we're doing. Oh, why? Right. What about Paper Mount Everest in there? Yeah, it's not the knickers, though, and is it? It's the decision making. Well, I can easily make one of them. I mean, it's nearly cocking off time, isn't it? And it's still not showing his face. Oh, I said where he was going. So, I reckon we leave early due to lack of leadership. Excuse me? Brew up. How's about that? Oh, yeah, two sugars in mind. Uh, how about we just keep sewing till the fabric runs out? No, I'm actually getting there, Haley. Ah, that's because you're what we'd call a creep, actually. You're just jealous, Janice, because Vicky actually speaks better English than you do. Are we grafting, then, or just gobbing off? That's not right, that, you know. Who shifted me blue folder? Mr Connor. Can't somebody just put this stuff in piles rather than flinging it all over the place? We're a little bit concerned. About me, you mean? You know what, Ailey? Just forget it, all right? Forget it. Right, wrap it up. Everybody out. We're having an early night. Are you sure? Am I still running the job? Two minutes or you all get locked in. Come on. So, your name's not KC, then? I've had it since school. KC. Kim Carswell. Just stuck with it ever since. I have to say, you don't look very much like the photograph. Well, I'm a woman. I get my hair done. It's what we do. I wasn't sure, though, whether I should go straight round to Claire's, you know, try and get everything sorted out. No, you did the right thing. Coming here first. Even so, procedure dictates that we're still obliged to check your address, make some inquiries, that kind of thing. Of course, yeah. Will I be along? That depends on what we come up with. Don't say anything, Janice. I'm just adding up. So I can't speak in my own flat now? Right, I'm done. What are you doing here, anyway? Have you been sacked? That is not remotely funny under the circumstances, as well you know, lady. Yeah, all right, sorry. Come here a minute, sit down, shut up, listen to this. This restaurant deal, as it stands, means I've got to come up with 20 grand. Might as well be 20 million, if it chance I'm ever going to get to see that kind of money. Because unlike you, I'm just a humble machinist, <sighs> scrabbling away for an honest pittance. Yeah, all right, Janice, get over yourself. I need 20. Problem is, I've only got 14. <laughs> Well, I'm amazed you've even got that much. Well, as you're so keen to point out, I've been busy. Yeah, well, at least it's going towards something worthwhile. Above board, you mean? You said it, not me. So now, how do I get my hands on the other six, eh? Well, I hope you're not considering going down the same road as you did for the 14. No, so let's not even go there, shall we? I need to think. Well, I'd help you out, you see, but... Once I've paid me rent, I've only got a few quid, you know, for a couple of beers before a payday, and that's me. Right, so you're no use then? Well, apart from feeding you and putting a roof over your head. Yeah, yeah. Tell you what, I'll think. You stick tea on, eh? We've still got a darling tone. How long's it gonna take? What's Parks doing? Giving up his number if he's not gonna answer it in the first place? Maybe he's still in with her. Well, somebody should be letting us know something, then. Right, I'll ring them again. I can't believe they've not got you there in the first place confirming it, sir. Hello, my name is Claire Peacock. I called earlier on. I was just... It was you. Right, well, I was wondering what was happening with... Sorry? Casey, yeah. Well, that can't be it, surely. I mean, aren't you supposed to make some kind of formal arrest or something? What's going on? So after everything she's done, you've just let her walk out. Well, I'm not sure. Let her go. 
Well, if you could get DI Parts to give us a ring as soon as possible. Yeah, you're damn right I'm not happy. Well, thank you very much. And what's he said? I just don't get it. He said they're still making their inquiries, but they've not got enough evidence to hold her. So they've let her go. Very large one for me, please. Eileen, if you don't take that smile off your face, I'm afraid I'm going to have to buy you. I've had it all day. We only do misery in here. I'm immune. Just get me a drink before I slap you. Ah, it's more like it. Can't be doing with all this romantic malarkey. Unless it's me. Oh, no, no. It's on hold, apparently. The lovely Pat's gone away for a fortnight. See you later. He's a salesman. We have a very mature understanding. Talking of mature understandings, has anybody seen Michelle? Last seen heading towards the ladies' labs. That was ages ago, wasn't it? Correct. Can you look after the bar for a minute, please, mate? Right, cock. Go on. Hello? Anyone in? Michelle? You're planning on staying in here all day? I haven't decided yet. You know, you're going to have to adjust your position at some point. You must think I'm pathetic. No. I think you're taking on too much too soon. I never spoke to him, Steve. I never got to put things right without Paul, and now he's gone. <laughs> Lying to Ryan, not telling him what happened, just like they did with his dad. Well, he's old enough to know the truth now. No! You don't know. How can it be good for a kid, knowing how nasty and screwed up everything is? Well, he's, he's just going to have to learn to deal with it. Not if it's anything to do with me. <laughs> no, I'm asking you, Steve. Please, just let me deal with it my way, all right? <laughs> look, 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 I'm not having this. Try to look after you, are you? Both of you. <laughs> You're working, mate. Always working, mate, kid, unfortunately. How'd you fancy running us to the airport? I thought you just got back. Yeah, well, now I'm going again, aren't I? You free or what? All right, calm down. Get in. What terminal do you want? Biggest one. As in what airline? Couldn't give a monkey's, mate. I've got my bag, my passport, my credit card, and I'm having whatever they've got. Let's go for that walk, eh? You ring your mum, tell her we're nipping out. I'll go and get Josh and Royce. You see to Freddy. Well, this better be Parks. Oh, my God. What the hell were you playing at with all that last night, eh? Putting my picture on the telly like I'm some kind of nutcase? You get out of my house! You should have been locked up by now! You shouldn't be here, Casey. I'm ringing the police. Oh! And what are you going to say, eh? I've just come from there and told him a pack of lies. Otherwise, I'd never let you go. No, no, no. Hang on a minute. I have got half my neighbours saying, Oh, was that you on the telly last night, Casey? And now, now I'm in the paper and all. Yeah, apparently I'm some kind of arsonist who runs off with other women's kids. So what's all that about, you eh? You stay away from my family! Just back off, Casey! Now, everybody, just let's calm down, eh? You've got big problems, Ashley. 
And you can't even see it, can you? You what? Why do you think I've been staying away in the first place? I don't know what you're talking about. You will do. Sorry, but what else can I say after what she's done? You two might be having a miserable life, I don't know. But don't try and ruin mine and all. Thought we were mates, Claire. I'll know better from now on, eh? Sorry, Ashley. Go after her. And do what? We'll ring Parkside. Tell him she's been round here threatening us. Claire, she has not been threatening us. And what's Park going to do? He's already got rid of her once. So they're going to listen to her over me? Well, give me the phone, I'll do it. What's the point? Just let's calm down a bit, eh? I am calm. She is getting away with this. Well, the police do not think so, obviously. Casey's been denying it. She could come back and do it again. All right, but, but what, what if it's not Casey? Now, just think about it for one minute. Whoever has done this are no nearer getting caught than they were before. I just don't believe her. She's lying. Next tonight on ITV1, some unsavoury secrets come to light about the owners of a local hotel, the scene of some disturbing crimes in the bill, while over on ITV3, an Egyptian prince, a missing ruby and a mysterious woman. It can only be Agatha Christie's Poirot. <laughs>